Welcome to Yoga with Carolyn. I am super excited to be here with you today. We are going to do a pose called Eka Padakanasana, or also known as EPK. It is one that takes a lot of core strength, so we're really going to focus on that core today. And I'm a very visual person, so I want you to imagine that Spider-Man has shot his web through your back and connected in a lot of spots. Remember, his web has all those spots to connect. Well, they've connected to the front of our core, and then it's going to draw back, and if you think about it, it becomes a small little amount that comes right out of his wrist, right? So that's what I want you to think about. It will make more sense in a minute, I promise. So let's sit up tall, drawing our shoulders on our back. As we inhale, let's sweep those arms up. Exhale, releasing our right hand, reach over and out with that left. Inhale, exhale, come deeper. Inhale as we come up. Exhale, releasing that left, reach over with that right. Another big breath in. Exhale, sink into it deeper. And then inhale, rise up. Let's interlace, flip those palms. Just lengthen here, stretching out our wrists, our forearms, and then exhale, release. So there's lots of parts to this pose. Take what works for us today, and then practice the rest. Remember, yoga is all about the practice, right? So let's make our way on to, into a tabletop position. And we're gonna spread our fingertips wide. It's gonna be a nice big base. Shoulders over our wrists, hips over our knees. Let's inhale, start to lengthen, bring our chin and chest through. As we exhale, press the floor away, really draw that navel to the spine, bring our chin to our chest. Inhale, let's lengthen. To first connection with our core, exhale as we round. Inhale, lengthen again. Exhale, rounding, drawing that chin to the chest. Inhale to our flat spine. Now let's walk our knees together and start to extend our right leg out behind us. That left hand. Pause here. Find our bounce. Find our core active. And then exhale. Let's bring our knee to our elbow. Round. Inhale. Keep that knee off the ground. Exhale. Knee to elbow. Inhale. Lengthen. This time really check in what muscles are working. Inhale. Lengthen. Exhale. Release. So extend up through that left leg, right arm. Inhale, exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, give me one more time. Knee to elbow. Inhale as we lengthen. Exhale, release. Now we're gonna make our way into our down dog, but first we're gonna stop into a plank, curl under our toes, press the floor away. Nice and strong here. And then exhale, shifting our hips back. Now we can bend our knee, take our opposite heel to the floor, pedal out those feet. Really just noticing here. And then drop back into our heels. Now let's take our left foot forward, come down onto our right knee. We're going to bring our hands on the inside. We're going to hug this left knee into that left arm. Now we're going to draw our belly up and in. So just feel like it's all kind of like right here. We're not sagging in the lower back. Nice and strong. Now, let's take our left hand on the outside of our left foot. We're going to keep our toes on the ground. Extend that leg. Crown of the head goes towards our toes. Drawing your navel up and in. Nice big hamstring stretch. Let's bend our left knee. Curl under our right toes. Left foot steps back. Find our down dog. Again, we can wiggle, drop back into our heels. And then on the next inhale, step that right foot forward, coming down onto the left knee. Bring the right hand on the inside of that foot. Again, we're going to drop up through our core. We open that left hip here. Let's take our right hand on the outside of our right foot. We're going to send the hips back, keep those right toes lengthened through that leg. How does our hamstrings feel today? That knee, our hip is right over that knee. And then let's bend back into our right knee, 
Curl under our left toes, right foot is going to step back, drop back into our heels. Now we're going to bring our feet together. Let's extend our left toes to the sky, draw our left knee to our chest, and extend. We're going to do that one more time, and we're going to pause here. I want you to feel everything that's working. Lifting up, nothing is sagging, and extend the left toes, left foot floats to our mat. Let's inhale, extend our right leg, draw our right knee to our chest. Feel the core work. Inhale, extend. Draw the knee to the chest. Hold. Now my foot isn't dropping. My knee isn't dropping. I'm staying lifted. Extend the right foot. Let the right foot float down. Now we're going to take our left foot in between our hands again. Come down onto our right knee. Walk that left hand. Now we can hang out here. And again, our core is working. It's lifting up. Maybe dropping to our forearms. Bigger stretch. From here, again, we can hang out here. We can get lots of stuff by not actually doing the whole pose. But let's start to take our left arm under me. So my left elbow looks like a little shelf, right? I'm on the right forearm. One more breath. And then take that right hand. Left hand out, curl under our right toes. Come up onto the right hand. Step the left foot back, drop back into our heels. Draw our right foot forward, come down onto our left knee. Walk that right hand on the inside, hang out here. We're coming down onto our forearms. Again, we're drawing all of the front core muscles through that back pinhole. Now notice, can we fire up that left glute? We're going to need it later. Now stay here, or thread that right arm underneath. Start again to build that shelf, that elbow comes out. My knee hugs in towards my shoulder. And let's take that right hand on the outside, come up under our left hand and our left toes. Right foot steps back, find our down dog. Drop back into our heels, wiggle if we need to. Now we're gonna extend our left toes to the ceiling, draw our left knee to the left tricep. Inhale, extend. Again, left knee, left tricep, pause. Inhale, extend. Let the left foot float down. How are we doing? Right foot extends. Right knee, right tricep. Feel the core. Extend, right knee, right tricep. Extend. Release the right foot. Let's come down onto your hands and knees and just roll those wrists out for a moment. How are we doing? Do we feel that core? Most of us are afraid of arm balances because we figure we don't have the upper body strength and it really comes down to we didn't tap into our core strength. It's not that it's not there, we just didn't tap into it. So let's come back up onto our hands and our knees, curl under our toes, exhale, find our down dog. Now we're going to step our left foot in between our hands and we're going to activate that right leg. So that right knee lifts, quad active and we're gonna bring our left hand on the inside of that left foot. Now let's take our left hand on the outside of our left foot, send our hips back. If I need to, I can come down onto my right knee. Big hamstring stretch here. Let's bend in our left knee, take our left foot back, find our down dog. Let's bring our right foot forward. Come on the inside of that right leg, lengthen. Make sure that left leg is lifted, nice and strong. It's core drawing up and in. And let's take our right hand on the outside of our right foot, send our hips back. Nice big hamstring stretch again. I can come to my left knee. Let's bend that right knee and step that right foot back. Find our down dog. Now let's extend our left toes to the ceiling. Draw our left knee to our chest. Now we're going to plant our left foot. Our toes are going to turn towards me or the outside of edge of our mat. We're going to come into that right side. We're going to come into a plank. Now I'm really pushing down into my left heel. Pop my left hip up. Obliques work. Now I'm on the outside edge of my right foot, right? 
Let's bring that left hand down, extend our left toes, let our left foot float to the mat. Let's extend our right toes, lift them up, draw our right knee to our chest, pause, plant the right foot, toes rotate to that right side, come into that left side plank, push down through that right heel, pop that right hip up, feel that glute work. Release that right hand, let's extend our right toes, right foot floats to our mat. Come down onto our hands and knees. And we're just going to come to child's pose. I want you to breathe. I want you to check in with your body. One more breath. And then let's come up onto our hands and our knees. Make our way back into our down dog. Now our left toes. We're going to extend them to the ceiling. Step our left foot through. We're going to stay up on that right foot. Take that left hand underneath. Again, I'm building that shelf. Look like this. It is not close to my body. I'm going to slide my right hand back so they're even. Let's walk our left toes out. Walking, walking. Now I'm going to engage my quad and I'm going to lower my chest. Think chaturanga. I'll step that left foot back. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, child's pose. Come back forward. Find our down dog. Curl under those toes. Right foot steps through. Strong left leg. Thread that right arm underneath. Slide our left hand back so I'm even. Walk my right toes away. My elbow tucks in and I extend. Maybe I need to keep my knee bent. I like to extend. My left quad is firing. Left foot back. Right foot back. Find our cobra. Exhale, child. How are we doing? We warm? Awesome. So that's what I call my one-legged push-up or my EPK prep, right? Now, we're gonna come into our full EPK. Are you ready? I hope so. Remember, it's a practice that does not need to be perfection today. Enjoying our journey. Let's curl under our toes, drop back into our heels. We're gonna step our left foot in between our hands we're gonna slide our left hand underneath. I like to slide my right hand. Now as my left toes go forward or out, I draw my right elbow in, allow my right hip to rest. Coming forward, lifting up through my core, my right leg lifts. Slowly release and come back. So that right elbow makes contact with that right hip bone. I might have to draw it in a little bit I do roll slightly, kind of think of that side plank where I come to the outside edge of my pinky toes. Then we have the other side. So don't overthink it. Let's try the other side. Curl under our toes, spine or down, my right foot steps forward. I'm gonna draw our navel up and in. Left leg is strong. Right hand goes underneath. Left hand comes back. I hug my elbow in. Take my right toes. Allow my left hip. I have all of my core muscles coming together. I think Spider-Man Webb shot me through the, the back, came to my front, collected everything, and went right back at my back. Now, let's say you're long limbs. I don't, but I've been told that is not the easiest for people with long limbs. I'm gonna give you one, version, or one option. It's the same thing, it's the same pose, just a little different way to get into it. So we're gonna come back down into our down dog, or up into our down dog. Now, because I'm shorter limbs, I'm just gonna walk my feet in and shorten my stance slightly. We're gonna extend our left toes to the ceiling, draw our left knee, left tricep. I'm gonna hug my right elbow in, extend my left leg, and my right toes are gonna to fly. So, same pose, right? Play with that. Now, I have to extend my off my leg that goes out to the side in order to get my back leg up. That's that teeter-totter. A lot of people can keep that knee bent perfectly okay. Just telling you, it does not work for me. Okay, we got the other side. We gotta make everything even. Last time. So, I'm gonna find my down dog and then I'm gonna walk my feet in, shorten my stance, bring my feet together, extend my right leg, right knee, 
right tricep, left hip. So I didn't shorten my stance quite enough. So I'm going to come back. I'm going to walk in a little bit more. I'm going to find my re. And maybe I'm just going to hang out here. Yeah, that way doesn't work as good for me. Maybe it worked for you. Let's come back to seated now, young y'all. Breathing heavy. So, to get that back leg up, to get that back leg up, it literally should feel like it flies. It really just floats. Because my core is working, my legs, my quads are working. It does not feel like I have got to throw or jump myself up. Now, all of this is working, I'm not gonna lie to you. So that leg can lift. With that, let's sit up tall. As we inhale, let's take those arms above our head. As we exhale, let's draw our hands to our heart center. And thank you all so very much for sharing your yoga practice with me today. The divine light in me honors and acknowledges the divine light in you. Namaste. Remember to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Let's all have everybody balancing on their arms.